Hi friends, I am making this video because I forgot to start recording uh, at the beginning of the lecture today. So I missed about uh, maybe 5 to 10 minutes of content. So let me record it uh, now. Okay, so what did we start with? So we started with, uh, so we continued our discussion of uh, uh, about proof techniques that we started in the last class. And uh, we looked at the proof of the following claims. The claims is as follows. The claim states that square root 2 is an irrational number. Or in other words, what, what can you say? So you can say that there does not exist, does not exist, exist a rational number whose square is so i'm pretty sure you might have seen this proof earlier let's say in the ninth or tenth class maybe or maybe even earlier than that i don't know but i'm pretty sure you have seen it uh, earlier so let's quickly recap that proof so how do you go over proving this Right. So you want to prove that there does not exist a rational number whose square is 2. You assume the opposite of it. Right. So you say, suppose for contradiction, for contradiction, there exists a rational number R, R such that r squared is equal to 2. Right, so you have assumed the opposite of what you wanted to prove. Okay, so now what does this mean? What is the definition of a rational number? So this rational number r, so r can be written as the ratio of two integers whose GCD is 1. Right, so there exist, exist integers P and Q such that R is equal to P divided by Q and GCD of PQ is equal to 1. This is just the definition of a rational number. Good. Now what does that mean? Because R squared is equal to 2, what do you get? So therefore P squared over Q squared is equal to 2 and therefore P squared is equal to 2 Q squared. What does it, what does this mean? So look, the, uh, the right hand side of this equality is even because there is a 2 over here. So the left hand side must be even, right? So what does that mean? So therefore, P is even. Okay. Now because P is even, therefore what can we say? Therefore there exists an there exists an integer, an integer p prime such that such that what p is equal to two times p. Okay, so let's substitute it over here. So what do we get? So therefore, p is two times p prime. So p squared is four times p prime squared is equal to two q squared. Cancel of a 2, what do you get? So 2 times p prime squared is equal to q squared. Now we are in a position to apply the same argument. Look at the left hand side. Left hand side has uh, ha is 2 times the square of an integer, right? So it is even. So therefore the right hand side must be even, and that implies that therefore q is even. Now both P and Q are even. So what does that mean? So therefore GCD of PQ is definitely not equal to 1. It is at least 2. Okay. Right. So this is a contradiction. So we assume that the GCD of P and Q is 1. Okay. But now we are getting a statement which says the GCD of P and Q is not equal to 1. Both cannot be true simultaneously. So that way 
by uh, assuming the opposite of whatever we wanted to prove we are ending up into some absurd statement some completely nonsense statement okay and then we say okay why are we why did we get why are we able to prove uh, such a completely nonsensical statement we are able to prove that because we assume something wrong so the assumption the assumption that we made must be wrong and what was the assumption the assumption was that there exists a rational number r whose square square is 2 right so this is a contradiction yeah and this is the that's it so this is the end of the proof okay so this is what we missed uh, what is missing in the recording of the class assuming you watch this now you are in a good shape to continue with the actual recording of the class thanks